Hey guys, welcome to another Kickstarter review. So today I'm going to be reviewing the final episode of the TV series Manifest, which recently had its final part, part two of season four, released on Netflix. And so today I'm going to be mainly covering the final episode, which is called Final Boarding, but I will touch on other aspects of the series and the season that led up to this final episode. And this is going to be a full spoiler review, so if you haven't seen it and you don't want to spoil, by all means don't watch it or come back and watch this video once you have finished Manifest yourselves. So the basic premise of this episode is that it starts with all the passengers who have gathered. It's their final day as they know it on Earth where they believe they're going to meet their fate. They're gathered and they're awaiting basically, they, they see this beacon that sh shines up from the ground that's been caused by Cal and his sacrifice. And basically that reveals the Ark, which is the plane that they that disappeared, that they were all aboard when they uh, went missing. And basically all the passengers board the plane, the, cap the pilot takes off, they start flying just basically to see what they're meant to do, what the next step is going to be. And whilst on the flight they all start to meet their fate essentially, where basically some of them start turning to dust, particularly the ones who did not really atone for their sins uh, in this five year period that they had been back and given a second chance at life. So that starts happening, some of the main characters are almost meet their fate too, but then uh, saved at the last minute because they kind of atone for their sins in, as such and basically the this sort of like uh, like the angel of death comes down and judges them and deems that they have overall done a net positive um, in their in their second chance and so grants them all life basically and so but then the plane lands lands back in 2013 when it first was meant to land so it's no longer in this new timeline, it's back in the old timeline as if, as if nothing had ever happened. All the characters are there, they meet their family, again are reunited. All the passengers aboard the plane uh, remember everything that happened, but all the people obviously that their family members who weren't on the plane have obviously no knowledge of the whole situation. It's as if nothing happened at all. And so they just, it's just like another day for them just seeing their loved ones arrive. Meanwhile, the passengers aboard the plane, it's like they're seeing their loved ones for the first time and forever and so um it is a nice happy ending for most parties i guess they you know uh, ben and uh michaela all of them they all kind of get reunited with their loved ones who they have lost in zeke and ben's wife and so yeah it's all happy endings all around and so my thoughts of this finale are pretty much in line with my thoughts of this series in general I never loved this series at any point. It had a very interesting premise from the very first episode, which is obviously the plane that arrives five years later that everyone thought was gone. That's an interesting premise. You know, it went in some in some wacky places that brought in these religious themes with Noah's Ark and whatnot. But look, my thoughts of the show is that it's it's lame, it's kind of stupid, but it's kind of addictive as well, where you just kind of wanted to see where it was all going, how it was going to resolve itself. And so obviously everything kind of hinges on this final episode. And look, I think they took the really safe option with this episode to give kind of everyone these happy endings. I think there was an opportunity to go a bit more dark or a bit more uh, ambitious with it and, you know, really turn it into a sort of Noah's Ark scenario where basically the whole world is almost destroyed, but they're only the passengers uh, would have been the ones to survive. I think that could have made for a really interesting ending, but... They didn't go there instead they just made it more so about the concept of redemption and second chances so like the final episode basically says that the whole point of this whole series is basically to give these passengers a second chance at life why we don't know it's not ever explained as to why these particular passengers were put through this um this journey and this tragedy of sorts but it's just it just happens to them and they kind of do explain it as that it's just why did it happen to them? Well, it could just be anyone, you know, there's a mix of us, there's some of us who are good, some of us who are bad, some of us in the middle, and so who better to, to pick randomly than just a random group of passengers from a plane? And so, look, it's it's underwhelming in that regard, but it's, I, I think it just, it tried to do too many things throughout the, the series that really just, I don't think they could ever have come up with a finale that was quite fitting for what they were trying to go for. You know, to me, the, by far the most um, interesting character of this whole show was the pilot who obviously disappeared um, when he in season two, I believe. And I was like, what's going on there? And that, I thought that was really interesting. And I wanted to see where they went with that. But ultimately, they kind of went nowhere with this character in the end. You know, he reappeared 
end of season three and he's in season four, but he's just uh, basically incapacitated the whole time until he ultimately dies. And it's just kind of uh, underwhelming because I thought he was the most interesting character who kind of dealt with the supernatural elements to what happened to the plane, which ultimately is what we all wanted to know. And I feel like it was never quite explained in this series what actually happened to the plane. So they, they just basically suggest that it's a divine kind of intervention by God that really caused these passengers to go through this experience that where they basically all get this second chance at life. And just, it's just underwhelming for, I guess, the proportions and the, of what they were trying to build with the show. It's just, it just feels underwhelming in that regard. Look, I'm, I'm happy, I'm fine with the happy endings. And I'm even forgiving of the show with this season because I do know that it was meant to have more seasons than just four, but once it got canceled in season three and then picked up by Netflix for season four with only the promise of one final season to tie it all up, I knew it was always gonna be rushed and my God, was it rushed this season. There was just contrivance after contrivance to just move the story forward as quickly as possible. Just things that things happen in this show that just would never happen in real life. Decisions by certain characters just don't make any sense. But like, you, you can forgive it to a certain extent. It happens in a lot of TV shows, but it's really glaring with this show, definitely. I know I'm kind of like all over the place with this review. I don't really know where to start and where to end with all of this. But I guess if I could just kind of wrap up my thoughts in general, is that I think as a finale, it's fine. It's not, does not meet the expectations of what the show promised from the beginning. But at the same time, it doesn't let us down too much where it was just didn't deliver on anything. We got a nice happy ending, that's fine. I'd give it kind of a solid, oh, like a five and a half or a six out of 10, really, uh, which I kind of regard the whole show entirely. I'd give the whole show basically a six out of 10. Um, it just has, the show has a lot of issues with just contrivances and um, conveniences with all these story plot elements and all that, but it was ambitious. And I, I liked that it was ambitious and I was excited to see where they would go with that ambition if they could pay it off. but. They definitely didn't, but ultimately I'm kind of satisfied. It's fine. I'm happy it's done. I don't think I need more of it, but yeah, so I'd give it just, uh, let's give it a six out of 10. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the finale. would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you think of it? Were you happy? Were you dissatisfied? Were you angry? Whatever it might be, post them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys. Bye.